in logic, when you're dealing with implication, P, then Q, or let us use A, then B, if A, then the second statement B, we can also use sufficient and necessary to translate the implication. Other translations are as follows. Translations of implication or conditional statements. You might be interested in saying that if A, then B. If hypothesis A, then conclusion B. Can be written as P is or A is sufficient for B. We can say that A is sufficient for B. We can also say that B is necessary for A. Also, B is necessary for A. So two other translations of implication or the conditional statement. So in the homework, in the exam, in the group activity, if you see you have a statement, A is sufficient for B. The meaning of that is A implies B. If you see another statement that's saying that, hey, B is necessary for A, it means that A implies B. A, then B. For example, suppose you have two statements. Statement P says a person obeys the law. And Q says a person is arrested. Okay. Suppose I ask you to translate the following. The very first one says, being arrested is necessary for not obeying the law. Being arrested is necessary. We're working with this guy. Is necessary for not obeying the law. And the second one, second one says, obeying the law is sufficient is sufficient for not being arrested. There. So let's see what do we have here. We have necessary here. Recall that we just introduced necessary. B is necessary for A. It means that A implies B. So the person does not obey the law. What happens then that person is arrested. This is going to be your A and this is going to be your B. We can rewrite this as the person does not obey the law then if 
a person does not obey the law, then a person is arrested. Very good. Using necessary. What about sufficient? Remember that A is sufficient for B. A implies B. We have sufficient here. Obeying the law is sufficient for not being arrested. Or a person, if a person obeys the law, then a person is not arrested. So here you have your A, then B. You can write this as, well, if a person obeys the law, then a person is not arrested. 